Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. My latest video with Boho DIY decorations absolutely stole your heart and your attention, so I decided to share even more ideas with you in this style. So for today's video I've prepared three new DIY Boho projects. All of them are really nice and unique ideas, easy to make and of course budget friendly. And before I jump right into the first project, make sure to give this video a thumb up if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more DIY ideas. And now without any further ado, let's get right into the Boho project. To create decorative for bunny tail grass, I will be using tissue paper in this light yellow color. You can of course choose your favorite color and maybe even use crepe paper instead, which will be much thicker than this one. I start with cutting long straps, each one about 5 cm wide. They don't have to be super perfect, that's why I cut them by hand without drawing the line before. Now I have few long straps. I divide this in smaller sections and start making the cuts along the one edge. I hold few straps at the same time to save some time. The cuts are really close to each other and the gap between them is small. And I also leave about one centimeter gap on the bottom. Once the cuts are done on the whole length, I separate one strap from the rest and I will work with one piece at the time. I take double-sided tape, measure the length I need and then cut its length in half. I just don't need that white strap. I tape it just under where the cuts end and cut the excess tissue paper. As my stalk, I'm using this green metal wire. I start with top of the wire and one end of the tissue strap. I hold it in the way that the tape is underneath and start wrapping the tissue around this wire. I go twice around and then move slightly lower, continuing wrapping the paper around. And I do it till the paper finish. The top part of bunny tail glass in my case is about 8 cm high. At the bottom I make sure the tape is tightly wrapped and holds the whole design. Now I just trim it so it's more pointy and also looks more fluffy. Altogether I've created 5 small pieces of bunny tail grass. I also done them quite short so one meta wire was enough for 2 pieces. I think they look super cute especially in this miniature version. Perfect to brighten up any spades and add the touch of the boho style. I wanted to create the boho lampshade from the scratch from such a long time and finally I've collected all the necessary parts. I have two embroidery hoops in the same size and in my case they are 25 cm in diameter. I also have this plastic part from old lampshade. It basically goes in the middle of the lampshade and allows you to hang it on the lamp fixture. I start with attaching this small circle onto my embroidery hoop. And to do it, I will be using barbecue skewers. I cut the thick part off and then glue the rest of the stick with super glue. All together, I will glue three sticks. Same gap between each one and having the same angle with the plastic circle. I take my embroidery hoop and place it on top of the sticks, making sure the circle is exactly in the middle and I mark the outside edge of the hoop. And again using pliers I cut off the excess stick. 
Now everything fits perfectly so I can glue it together. It's important to glue it properly and the construction is strong as it will hold the whole weight of the lampshade. As uh, outside of my lampshade, I will use my old thrifted table mat. As you can see, one of them is slightly lower than the other one. I've used it before in one of my projects and this is what has left. And because I will need two of them for the new lampshade, so I will cut the one of them shorter. Idea is to wrap my mat around the hoops. I start with the top one. I put the hot glue on the small part of the mat and then attach hoop to it. And small part at the time I glue it all around. As I run out of the first mat, I take my second one and continue gluing it around. I cut the excess of the mat off and place my other embroidery hoop inside. If you want, you can glue it all the way around. I only glue it in the places where two mats are meeting each other. The other parts stay secured without even gluing it. And to add a bit more of the boho vibe, I decided to make fringe on the bottom of the lampshade. Using Clark's head knot, I attach small pieces of cord on one long piece of cord, one by one and next to each other. Once the whole length is covered, I will brush the cord off and attach it with the glue to the bottom of my lampshade. And last but not least, I will be creating Miro Jewelry Organizer. Pick up embroidery hoop which is about 5 cm wider than your round mirror. I place the hoop on top of the hemp cloth. This fabric is very boho style and it will look perfect combined with wood and mirror. I draw this line outside the hoop and then cut it out. To make the back of the mirror stronger, I will also cut the round shape out of cardboard. The color also matches the hemp fabric, so it won't be noticeable through the material. Same process, I draw the line outside the hoop and then cut the shape out. As you might notice, I've been using my new hot glue gun. I was kindly gifted by Hotto brand and because I'm really happy with my new tool, I've decided to share that with you. A part of the great performance this hot glue gun gives, it's also so stylish and modern looking. You can charge it with your phone cable and then use it cable free. Heats up so quick and gives smooth glue flow. So if you are looking for practical tools with great design, check out the link down below and get $10 off from your order. Now I start gluing my fabric onto the cardboard. I make sure the fabric is nice stretched so I glue small part of it at the time. Then I attach the embroidery hoop which plays the role of the frame in this project. I take my round mirror, make sure it fits nicely, place it exactly in the middle and then glue it. And then smaller embroidery hoop on top of it. With the scissors, I cut off any excess cardboard and fabric which sticks out outside the hoop. As this will be a jewelry organizer, I need something to be able to hang my necklaces on. So I've decided to use wooden beads. I glue two beads together and then use some wax on them to match the color of the hoops.
starting from the bottom I glue all my hooks uh, on the outside frame in the same distance. To hang it on the wall add some hook or glue the wire at the back of the mirror. And now your mirror jewelry organizer is ready. You can hang your favorite pieces of jewelry or any other light items. Like always, let me know in the comment section which project was your favorite and let me know what are the kind of projects would you like to see more on my channel. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumb up and follow me on Instagram where I share more of my daily life. And if you're interested to see more boho projects, uh, I created separate playlist with all of my boha ideas i will leave the link to it down below and for now thank you so much for watching your support and i will see you in my next video